Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Quinones here and today's video is all about Samsung and Adobe. So Samsung has finally released Adobe Premiere Rush for the S10 lineup. As you can see here, Adobe Premiere Rush for Samsung. And the reason I'm so excited about it is because every video that you guys see on this channel has actually been edited using my smartphone. So the fact that I have this new way to start editing videos for the channel is just super exciting for me. I'm going to be using this video editor to edit this whole video that you guys are watching right now as well. And then during this video, we're actually gonna be doing a walkthrough. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this app, the different features that it has within the app. And then we're gonna edit up our own little video and then I'll go ahead and show that video to you guys once we are done editing it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now, the first thing you are going to want to do is go into your Galaxy App Store and then you're going to want to type into the search bar Adobe Premiere Rush for Samsung. As you can see, I've already looked it up there and I've already got mine downloaded and installed. So go ahead and download and install that. So let me go back to my editing app folder right here. As you can see, I got it right there, Rush for Samsung. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the app. And as you can see here, I've already got some stuff done. I've been messing around with it for a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and start off fresh here. So most likely it's going to greet you with a little tutorial. It's gonna ask you to do this, ask you to do that, basically showing you how to use the app. Now you can choose to do the whole tutorial or you can choose to skip it. It's really up to you. So let's go ahead and start off fresh. If you want to start a new project, you can basically go down here to the plus sign go ahead and press that now you can add your own media or you can take a video or photo right there on the spot but we're going to go ahead and add some media i'm going to go ahead and steal some footage from a previous video i just recently did and edited on this phone so let me go ahead and go into videos and we'll go ahead and use this as a sample so let's go ahead and use this one we'll use this one you can pick up to as many clips as you want to use We'll use this one, this one, and this one. Up to five clips for me. But like I said, you can use as many as you want. It's pretty much endless, however long you want your video to be. But for now, we'll go ahead and use five clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and press create right here down at the bottom. And as you can see, it creates this little video format for me. Got some all bunched together right there. Now, if it seems too skinny for you, you can actually widen it up a little bit like that. You can actually widen it up a lot, or you can keep it very minimal. It's really up to you. And if there's a video clip that maybe you want one before the other, all you got to do is hold it and drag it wherever you want. So makes it very simple to do. So let's go ahead and go through some of these icons real quick before we start editing our little video right here. So you got the undo button up there. You got the export button. And this little icon up here is basically to give feedback if you want to give feedback on the app. Now going down to the bottom, you have this little plus sign right here, which you can press and then it'll give you the option to either capture more footage. You can add a title, media, or do a voiceover over your video. Then you got this icon right here at the bottom, which will show you all the clips you have here. And you can add the same exact clip right there. You see, add. These are all the five clips that I picked. And then this one up top is basically all of them bunched together. So let me go ahead and go back over here. This next icon right here basically gives you all the bars right here. Then you have the option to either lock the video, you can mute the sound, or you can even mute the whole entire video footage so let me go ahead and get out of there and then this next icon over here will allow you to switch between landscape portrait and square but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on landscape for now since i will be uploading this with this video you guys are watching so you can be able to view it the way it is supposed to be all right so next down here we have the option to add titles change up your transitions change the color which we will get to in a bit when we start editing the video be able to change your audio settings transform and you can also cut the clip to delete certain parts or separate them. And then you have the option to duplicate and delete as well. So let's go ahead and get started editing this short video that we have right here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is widen up these little clips right here to make it a little bit easier to see. As you can see, all you got to do is pinch to either zoom in or zoom out. So we'll leave it about right there. Now what I wanna do for this specific video is basically make a short montage. So what I wanna do first is mute the volume on each clip here so we don't get any background noise from any of this footage that I took here. So what you wanna do is first make sure the clip you are working on is highlighted and then we're going to scroll over to audio 
go into audio there. Now, as you can see, it gives you different options to reduce noise, reduce echo, enhance speech. You can reset it, turn it on or off. You can mute the clip, which is what we want to do. So all you got to do is just tap that and boom, the sound is off. If I play it here, you can't hear anything at all. So the clip is muted and you want to do that for each one of these. Mute clip. Now, if you don't exit out of this, let me go back into it. Every time you go to a new clip, it's automatically going to stay where you were. So it makes it a lot easier if you're muting all the clips, mute the clip, go over, that's highlighted, mute the clip, go over, that's highlighted, mute the clip. As you can see, they make it very easy to do this. So now that we got it all muted, I wanna go ahead and add some music now for the background. So let's go ahead and click this little plus sign down here and we're gonna go to media. Now, as you can see, there's different things to choose from, photos and videos, videos, photos, device folders, audio, which is what I want to add. So we're gonna go ahead and click audio. Now you do have the option to pick your own songs or you can pick Rush soundtracks. They give you different sounds right here you can use. So you can see right there. And once you pick one, it'll give you a little number like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my own music. So I'm gonna go into songs and let's just go ahead, let's pick this one right here. Go and press add. So the whole song is added right there. Now the next thing I wanna do is match the scene change with the timing of the music. So let me go ahead and press play here so you guys can hear the song real quick. There we go, let me turn up the volume. So we got the background music going, as you can see the timing. Boom, and I'll change it right there. So. Let me go ahead and go back. Now, pretty much what I do is listen to the music as it goes and pause it right where I want the clip to change to the next scene. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, right there. So that's pretty much in timing with the music. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that part of the video. All right, so now that I got it cut, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this one and then go to the right and press the little trash icon and boom, there's my next scene right there. So as you can see, it's going to switch right on timing with the music. So let me go ahead and press play here. Give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about here. Here we go. So as you can see, when the music hits that beat, the clip switches as well. And it's always best to do these montages like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these clips and then we'll continue adding more stuff and show you what else that we can do with this editor. All right, so I went and did that same thing for all the clips here, made sure it was on timing with the music. But as you can see, I'm still left with a lot of music left. Now you can also clip the music as well. If I go ahead and just go towards the end of my video, hit the scissors, highlight this back part, and throw it in the trash, and then you have your short little film right here. Now, we can take it further than just adding music and cutting the scenes where we want to cut them. So what I wanna do now is add more of a little cinematic feel to it. Now, that is where these colors come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and press color. As you can see here, there's different scenery options you can choose from. Like I said, you got cinematic, you got film, SL Kodak, you even got black and white settings over here if you wanna go that route. There's tons to choose from to make your video look a lot better. Gold, that one looks nice as well. But let's go ahead and choose cinematic here. Now, in my opinion, for my liking, it, it looks a little too strong here. So you do have the option to turn the effect down as much as you want. If you go down here to the bottom, you can change the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, temperature, tint. There's a lot that you can do with this. But I'm gonna leave all that the same. What I wanna do is basically just turn down the intensity of this effect. So I'm just gonna click on that. This little bar comes up down here. And what you can do is change it however low you want or how high you want it. So like I said, I want to lower it. Around 50 is good for me. So let's try to get it right on 50 right there. So that is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and do this for every single one of them. All right, so just finishing up here right at 50. That's close enough right there. So, okay, I got the cinematic effect added to each and every one of these clips, giving it a little bit more of that cinematic look. Now, I'm not quite done with the video yet. I could get away with just leaving it like this if I press play here. You can see everything's pretty much on timing with the clips and the music. You got that cinematic effect look on each clip that I have here. So it's looking pretty good so far. Let me go ahead and press pause here. 
But what I want to do is also show you guys how, let me go ahead and exit out of this up here. So what I want to do next is add some words. Now, I don't know if you can notice in this clip right here, there's a little bird right here. So I know a lot of people in some videos, you like to add tags pointing to certain things. So you can also do that on this as well. What you want to do is click down here on titles. Now there's tons of titles you can choose from different kinds of ways you can have them appear up in your video as you can see there's tons right here and not only do they have them down here but if you go into more titles there's actually 28 pages of different titles if you have a youtube channel you can add this as well my vlog channel or you can let people know to subscribe by the way if you're watching this video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos but let me go ahead and go back here and i will go ahead and pick Let's see, let's go ahead and pick this one right here, but I don't want it right there. I want it where the bird is, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it this way. I think my bird was right here in this clip. All right, so there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and widen this up now. As you can see, it comes up kind of short, but I want it to be pretty much in most of the clips. So let me go ahead and widen this up real quick. Okay, so now that I got that widened up, I wanna go ahead and move this next to my bird because as you can see, it is nowhere near the bird. It's over here pointing at some rock. So in order to move this, what you wanna do is click on it. As you can see, the whole screen is going to get highlighted around the edges. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is press and hold and drag wherever you want. So I'm gonna drag it right here. So it's pointing right at my bird. Now, what you can do is edit this text just by clicking on the text. So you can see the text will come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this all right here. All right, so I got all the text deleted. Now, what I wanna do is basically just put bird just to bring to your attention that there is a bird right there in case you happen to miss it because it is hard to see. So Go ahead and add that there. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Let me press play and watch how it pops up. So as you can see, it fades in, pointing out whatever subject that you want it to point at. So that's pretty cool that they give you different kinds of effects to be able to add titles and text into your video. So our short montage is pretty much done. We got the clips, we got the effect that we want to use, we got the text in there where I wanted to put it, we got the background music, everything is pretty much good. But I do want to change up the transition towards the end of the video. I kind of want to give it a little bit of a fading out. So what you can do there is click on transitions and they give you three different ones. Uh, you can pick a cross dissolve, a dip to black. Let me show you what that looks like. Coming towards the end of the video, basically just fades out to a black screen. Boom. Now you can also choose this dip to white, which is actually pretty cool as well. So let's look at that one. So you can see there, that one looks pretty cool as well. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it on a dip to black. So we'll go ahead and keep that there. And then, yeah, I, it is basically done. Now, like I said, there's other stuff you can do with the video. You can add pictures. You can also do voiceovers. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. If I click on voiceover, it's going to give you this little recording icon that you basically just press that. It's going to give you a little countdown, and then you start doing your voiceover, and then just press stop whenever you're done. But yes, basically, we are done with the video here. So in order to export this video, what you want to do is click up here. And then it's going to pop up like this and then you press export. But you can also change the quality settings if you want as well. You can either leave it on automatic where it's going to leave it in whatever resolution that you recorded the, the video on. Or you can change it to 720p, 720p 30 frames per second, 1080p, 1080p 30 frames per second and that is it. But if you record 4K videos, I suggest you leave it in automatic because then it will export in 4K. So let me go ahead and export this video and then I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys and you guys let me know what you think down in the comment sections below.
All right, you guys, so there it is, Adobe Premiere Rush on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you found this video helpful. If it did, and if you did like it, make sure you leave a huge thumbs up on this video. And if there's anything you would like to know about the video editor, if you want me to take more of a deeper dive into the video editor, just let me know down in the comment sections below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already, so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks again for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.